Hey everybody, this is Zach Warren here at Phillips RV in Bradley, Illinois, coming at you here with a DRV Mobile Suite Houston behind me. Guys, we're in the big boys here. This is the best camper they make on the market. There is nothing that compares to a DRV, absolutely nothing. We're gonna show you on the exterior a few things. This will be a multi-point video because there is a lot to cover. The first thing we're gonna look at is the actual fifth wheel hitch itself. Now this is a more ride hitch. Anybody who knows, who knows campers knows more ride. Now, if we look right here, my camera lady looks here. This is actually two white discs. There's two on each side making four. What this is, is this actually helps with, ch uh, with uh, chucking. What chucking is, is when you start to stop, sometimes you feel your camper, your fifth wheel wanna muscle you. It wants to kind of push against your, uh, your truck, push you a little bit down the road. This actually kind of buffers some of that push when you're starting going so it's a much smoother start, smoother stop. Now we have this large compartment right up here. There are no clips on any of these doors. They're all gonna be hydraulics. We have a huge storage compartment right here, right up front. Now looking over here, this is our battery and all of our hydraulics right here. Now you can see this has two batteries. This is a big unit. There is a lot of stuff to power in this. We need two batteries. Um, you're gonna see just how much this operates off of electricity when we get more into the other videos. Um, now what's awesome with these, this is a high grade gel coat. It's almost like an automotive paint job on the outside of these. Um, if you actually feel on these, you cannot feel the decals. That's because they're painted on on this unit. There's no decals to come off. There's no decals to ever start to bubble. <coughs> Excuse me. Everything's actually painted on here and then overlaid with that high grade gel coat. Uh, if we come right here, this is your underside storage. Now, DRV does something very, very special with their campers. Where all of your other fifth wheels are gonna be built on I-beams, this is built on a 15 inch tube frame. What that means is, instead of having I-beams going across the camper, they take a six inch piece of tube frame with another six inch piece of tube frame with a three inch piece of tube frame. And that gives them all that stability to put all the weight on this camper. These can weigh anywhere between 18 and 27,000 pounds. They are a heavy camper. Now, if my camera lady wants to come in here, I wanna show you this screen right here. This is your auto leveling system. This is very, very easy to use. That auto leveling system, when you get your camper, you get to your spot, you lower your front stabilizers, uh, your, your front landing gear, remove your truck, <coughs> come around to here, hit auto level, and this six point auto leveling system automatically puts the legs down and levels your camper. It's that easy, it's the hit of a button. They also automatically retract when you're getting ready to hook up with it. It's a very, very easy system. Now this is an option on these campers. This is a slide out tray for cargo. It goes through both sides so it's easy to get everything out. Everything in here is going to be oil and grease resistant. Uh, it's also going to be heated. There is going to be forced heat going in here so if you have anything that's going to be temperature sensible, you can do that. And then you just push and it automatically locks into place. Now, all of these are gonna have slam latches on them, so you just close, closes on its own. Now, with these, gone are the days of getting on your knees and dumping your black and gray tanks. All of your water and everything is right in here. Your water heater, your fills, your city use, everything, your black tank flush, your gray tank flush, all of your waste valves, everything are right in here, your spray port. No one wants to get on their knees and lower these and get dirty and everything, so they're going to make it very, very, very convenient for you to use all of this. Now, the last couple things I want to talk about is you are going to have an automatic retractable cable system in this. What that means is your electrical cable. You pull it out, you take out as much as you need. When you're done and you're ready to hook up, you hit a button, it automatically electronically retracts and stores itself inside. Now with these, they're going to give you caliper brakes. These are disc brakes, not drums. Every other camper on the market is going to give you drum brakes. These are like what's on a car. It's a caliper and a disc brake. 
These also are going to use Dexter axles. They are the number one axle in the business. Now these, tr uh, these campers take a 3500, even a 4500 or 350, 450 series to pull these. They do a two inch riser on these. What that means is this is two inches higher than what another camper would be. The reason why they're doing that is truck bed rails are getting higher and higher as they go along. Um, with those, they use those two inch risers to make it easier to get those trucks underneath. We're gonna cover a few more exterior features on here. First thing I'd like to do is welcome my camera girl right into this compartment. And we're gonna look at this right here, okay? This is what they call a Plymouth furnace system. What that means is it's more like your house. It is actually ducted five ways directly from this furnace box right here. Just like your house is ducted, this is going to be ducted. Now, gone are the days with the RV of having to, with every other camper, unscrew your panels to get access. These are actually on tracks, so they pull easily. <coughs> now, the benefit of this is this is a large unit. It's built like a house. It needs to be run like a house. That's why they're going to do this for you. Now, the other cool thing that we're going to look at, we're going to go around to this side. And we're going to look at the steps. Now, the steps on this one are by a company called A Step Above. They are solid steps. Um, these do not hang. They actually touch the ground. It is a sturdier step. I'm going to unlock this door, but as I do, I want to show you. This does have a keyless entry on the inside. It's actually got a code. It's nice because you don't have to have your key. You know this code, you can get right in. So we're gonna pull this door right to here. And to store these steps, all you do is grab at the bottom, lift, and they secure right in. So they actually store inside the camper. Now there's a couple benefits with this. One of the benefits is they don't get corroded. They're not getting corroded by any kind of road debris, by water, anything, so they're easier operational. They stay cleaner longer. The other thing with them is if you have a disability or anything where you have a hard time walking, they're sturdier, so you don't feel like you have to kind of keep your balance as those stairs uh, rot. Um, now with these, you just twist the handle, pull down, and they're rather light just sit it right down to the ground. Now, right here is a very unique part of this camper. It's one of my favorites. We do have a, a TV right in here with a radio system with the speakers. Um, just a really, really nice uh, extension to this to have a nice outside area to watch TV, relax. Um, it's really nicely embedded in this little compartment here. Now, I'm going to go over a couple more things. If my camera girl wants to go right to the right hand corner and look at that camera right there, that's an actual side view camera for the camper. This is about a 44 foot camper. So you're going to want as much uh, visual uh, as you can on these. So this is going to help you keep an eye on your blind spot with the camper. Now, if she wants to follow me right back here. We do have a backup camera mounted right at the top of the camper. Now that's going to have a few things. First of all, it's going to let you see behind you a traffic. Second of all, in the state of Illinois and a lot of other states, you can tandem tow behind you. People will tow a car or something like that behind them, a small trailer. They'll let you keep an eye on what's back here. They do give you a very, very sturdy ladder uh, to uh, go up on these on. Uh, now the roof on this one is going to be TPO. It's a rubber roof, but it's not a black uh, black membrane. It's all white all the way through. It gives it so you won't have streaking on your camper. If you do want to go up to the Elite Suites, you can get a fiberglass roof. Now we're going to go talk about one more thing on the other side of this camper, and it has to do with the water system. A lot of campers out there are going to have a main hot and a main cold shutoff. This does not. If you look right in here, this is what they call a water manifold system. Okay, everything on here is labeled. Cold toilet, cold lavatory, cold washer, cold shower, cold sink, hot lavatory, hot washer, hot shower, hot sink. Let's say in the kitchen, you get a leak in your sink. 
On other campers, you're gonna have to shut the water off to the whole camper. On this one, you can turn the water off to that sink and still have use of everything else in the camper. You can isolate that. Now also speaking of the water, you do have an in-house filtration unit on here. I've been to Disney World. Florida's water is horrible. You need this if you're going around the country and doing this because not all water is created equal, but it makes it very, very drinkable and to your Listen. liking. As you can see, I am sitting on this beautiful leather couch. This leather couch does turn into a bed. It is a queen size pullout. It's very, very comfortable. Um, these are very nice, nice RVs. Uh, again, they are the best in the business. Um, I kind of want our camera girl to kind of give you a look at the floor right in front of me. You have four different heat ducts on bottom. She goes up to the ceiling. Just in this area alone, there is four AC ducts and a ceiling fan. These are high ceilings. Everything in this camper is made extremely high quality. Now, as we move around the living area, as you can see right here, it does come with a TV. It is an LG TV. DRV wants to use brands that you know. They want to use high-end everything. They want the owner to feel like they are in a multi-million dollar house. These RVs can range anywhere from $120,000 to $200,000. They want you to know that your money is well spent. Now with this one, if I press in on this fireplace, it actually pulls out into a drawer for storage. What's great about these fireplaces is, is when you're camping somewhere, you're gonna be using your own propane, but they're gonna supply their electricity. So many owners will wake up six o'clock in the morning, make their coffee, come in here, watch the morning news, and turn their electric fireplace on and stay warm. Now, when you're watching this beautiful TV and enjoying the warmth of the fireplace, we have two theater chairs right here. Now, what's great about the theater chairs are they are reclining. There are cup holders. And if we pull this up right here, there is storage in here. Now, with these, there are going to be USB ports for charging. They're very easy up and down systems. And when you sit in them, you don't want to get up. Now, looking at what's above the TV, we're going to talk about the cabinets. These are Amish made cabinets. This is a maple wood. They come in two types, maple and cherry. The lighter is always the maple. The darker is always the cherry. They come with residential hinges, residential hardware. You've got your receivers up here. You've got everything for your uh, DVD player, your receivers. Um, they give you everything in these. You don't have to purchase anything. Wi-Fi boosters. Um, these are all easy open cabinets and you can hear the quality. Just listen. That is quality. The way they close, they close like a house. Now coming into the kitchen, this is a Corian countertop, just like what you'd find in your house. Now, if you chose to go with the Elite Suite, you can, it will come with a quartz countertop. This is a residential faucet, regular faucet with a spray handle, just like you find in your home. Now, I'm going to pull these up. These act as cutting boards, but I want my camera lady to come right over here and look at the residential sink. Again, you keep hearing me say residential. This is built like a house. This is as close to a home as you can find in the camper world. Right down here, believe it or not, that is a dishwasher. We pull this right out. It's got all the amenities at home. You don't have to sit here and wash your dishes. It's automatically done here. Now these fit very snugly in here. And again, you can use these as cutting boards. Now what's great about the Corian is if you ever mar or scuff the Corian, you can actually sand it and buff it right back out to its shine. So it's uh, really like a last forever kind of, kind of top. Now here again, we have the Corian with the beautiful backsplash. However, when I lift this up, it exposes a three burner propane cooktop, secondary backsplash here with the propane stove. Now the other configuration we can do this in is no stove with induction cooktop. It's up to you of which way you'd like to do these. This one offers this, but it is available in the other way. Now this also has a Furion convection microwave. I love convection microwaves. I make grilled cheese in these all the time. It's not just a microwave, it browns, it bakes, it does everything. So if you're looking for something convenient but still healthy and homemade, you can do it right in here. And again, Look at all of the cabinet space all the way around. These, again, are maple 
hardwood cabinets, beautiful glass inlays, residential hardware. Now coming back here, we have a residential fridge. Again, residential, what you'd find in your home. Look at the size of everything in here. This is a home refrigerator. This gives you everything of home. It's got an in water filter. It's got an ice maker. It's got tons of storage. You can go on the roads for months and be fine in this thing and have all the amenities you need. We're going to touch base last on the dining area before we move on to the next areas of the DRV. Now this dining room table is very, very unique. Right now we have room for two people. All we have to do is lift and pull and it extends. If we need more room, there's actually two latches underneath of here that then extend. And make it into a leaf table. It's very easy to pull out and very easy to put away. Watch, 15 seconds. It's that simple. Our last thing in our dining room is the desk area. We all know that we all work even when we're not working. That gives you the ability with a laptop, any kind of writing, whether uh, you're an aspiring writer, you need to get a report done for work, or you just want to sit here and you want to balance your checkbook and do your bills. They give you this while you're on the road. Now, all of these windows are all frameless and they all have sun shades and blocker shades. So they have the black shades right back here. And then you have your actual shade over it. Hi everybody, Zach Warren here at Phillips RV in Bradley, Illinois with our fourth video in the Mobile Suites DRV Houston. Um, we're going to go over the bathroom and bedroom now. Um, this is the bathroom right in here. I'm going to let my camera lady have free reign in here while I explain. Uh, where she's at right now is the toilet. Now, uh, they have two kinds of toilets. This is a macerator toilet. Uh, what a macerator toilet is to make it not as gross, uh, it basically chops up all your waste. What that does is it makes it so you won't have any clogs, uh, anything in the tank long term. It just makes it easier to dispose of. Um, now on here, uh, this is a fantastic fan. It's a Max Air fan. Now, there's a few things that's really cool with these. Number one, you can open it with a remote. Number two, you can close it with a remote. You can set the speed. Um, with these fantastic fans, these Max Air fans, um, they close automatically when water hits them. And you can set a specific temperature with the main fans where uh, it'll actually pull and push air out depending on the temperature you want. Keep it that temperature. <coughs> it's like an extra fan for the home that's an exhaust and a cooling fan. Um, you have that beautiful vanity with that same Corian countertop that beautiful sink with the residential faucets. And then of course you have that large medicine cabinet with the mirror. They're gonna finish everything off with a maple, um, again, cabinets in here or cherry, depending on which ones you pick. And everything in here is going to be hardwood. Um, now a lot of RVs that you look at, they do not lock. But as you can see, this does have a locking bathroom door with a residential-like handle. Um, every, again, everything's solid. You can hear as it closes. It's solid. Now right here is a little bit of storage, but more importantly, these are all of your controls. So here we have your scare lights. We have the water heater for electric and for propane. Water pump, your step lights, and this is prepped for a generator. You can install a generator in here if you choose to. You can check your battery, fresh, gray, black, and your LP tanks right here. And all your slide mechanisms are here. Now, this has three air conditioners. If a DRV has two, two axles, it has two air conditioners. This one has three axles, so it has three. You can actually set different zones in here for different temperatures, depending on how you want them. Bedroom different than living, different than kitchen, whatever you'd like to do. Now with these, this is your max air control right here, like I talked about with be able to control everything. Generator button here, and then your awning controls. You do have two awnings right here, along with your fuse box. Now with here as well, you do have a little bit of storage right in here, along with your satellite hookup and hanging for any kind of coach you'd like for guests. Now we're gonna go up these stairs right here and head into the bedroom. 
Everybody likes to be comfortable. Would you believe if I told you, king size bed, huge bed, USB ports in the side of the bed to charge your phone with outlets, dimming controls for the lights, another LG TV in the bedroom. That is three TVs they've included. The same shades as in the living room. The same beautiful hardwood throughout, even in the bedroom. Again, all that maple cabinetry and everything in the bedroom. This is a luxury bedroom. <clears throat> now, very important, we've talked about the air conditioners and the controls. These are whisper quiet air conditioners, meaning they, they run quieter than any other air conditioner out there. Um, so you're not gonna be bothered by any loud noise when you sleep, and it's gonna run very quietly, just like the central air in your house. Now there are speakers above the headbed for the TV or any kind of music you'd like to do. Me personally, I like to sleep to thunderstorms. I do that every night. It's a beautiful thing to have right over your head. It makes it feel like it's more real. Now coming in here, we're gonna look at the master bathroom. This is amazing. We have a double vanity right here for a couple sink with the residential faucets. Again, another Max Air fan. That is three Max Air fans in here. We have the huge dual medicine cabinet in here with the mirrors, plenty of storage, dimmer switches and everything. And then we have the beautiful shower. Now, this is an option, but we order this on all of our DRVs. <coughs> this is a rain glass shower. The rain glass does a couple things. It creates more privacy and it's a lot easier to keep clean. When you have the flat glass, it's harder to keep the streaks away and everything, but this really does make it so it's a lot easier to clean. Again, another macerator toilet. And then the shower in here is beautiful. It's got the little stool. Again, it's got the residential um, faucets there with the, uh, the head. Um, you could pull the head off and wash yourself. Beautiful surround. Then the last thing we're gonna look at is the walk-in closet. This is a real cedar-lined walk-in closet. Now I'm gonna move to let my camera girl get in here so she can see. If she looks over to the left against the wall, she'll actually see a safe right in there. Um, that is an option, but you can get the safe. And then over here, you have a dresser with another mirror. Again, dimmer switches for in here, as well as two folding chairs for the dinette on the outside uh, that we saw that went with the leaf and pulled out. Plenty of storage for clothes. Again, these are beautiful units. Um, last thing we're gonna talk about is some final construction components in these. Um, where a lot of your campers are going to be using uh, styrofoam insulation, uh, what is used in the DRVs is a high density wool insulation. Um, that is like a residential insulation. It's very thick. It has a high R value. Um, all these again are going to be built on that 15 inch tube frame with that two inch riser. Um, they're all going to be double pane windows and they're going to be the seamless windows. Um, they're all going to be ducted, uh, dual ducted on the ceiling, dual ducted underneath for the heat and the air conditioning. Um, and they're going to be using high grade materials. Uh, you know, even their aluminum studs are going to be filled with wood. Um, all their ducting is high grade material. I mean, everything in here is the best of the best out there. Again, you're basically getting a home on wheels. Um, you know, a, a lot of people buy these and they retire in these and they RV the rest of their life and they don't actually have a home. So DRV wants to make sure that you spend your money uh, on a well put together product that they can stand behind, um, that they can say it's worth every penny of what you spent and it's worth its weight in gold. Um, the DRVs is the best product out there. There's really nothing that compares to these out there. They are one of a kind. Um, and they really take care of their customers. Um, one great thing about our dealership is we are so close to where they're built. Um, we have uh, direct connection with the factories, uh, with the uh, sales rep that's right out of uh, um, Howe, Indiana. Um, they even offer tours of the factory uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, you can call me and we can help you get that set up if you like to see how these are built. It's really an amazing process. Um, again, I'd like to thank everybody for watching these videos and learning with me about the DRV Mobile Suite Houston. And if you have any questions, just get a hold of me, Zach Warren, down here at Phillips of Bradley, uh, RV, Hyundai, and Chevrolet if you're looking for a car. And uh, we'll be seeing you to go on an adventure, make some memories.